Hi everyone, it's me, Dottie Mae. It's Friday, June 15th, 5.45 p.m. Um, I'm here on my laptop camera, and of course it's looking a little dark here. At least to me it is. Um, this is my six-week post-op update. Um, I was actually six weeks on Monday, but today I had my appointment with the doctor, the nutritionist and the exercise physiologist and it went very well. I weighed 308.2 and let's see that's very good in my opinion. Sorry I can't do math in my head. So I started out on April 16th pre-op at 355.1 and today I was 308.2 so that's a total loss of 46.9 pounds so I think that's very good um, yeah I'm not complaining so um, I can incorporate uh, regular food back into my diet except for things like rice and bread um, which is fine um, <coughs> excuse me so um, I need to focus on trying to get protein, 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 60, 60, <clears throat> excuse me, 60 to 80 grams a day. Sorry, I'm drinking strawberry Dasani. It's not too bad. Um. Of course, the protein is important not only for weight loss, but it's also good for maintaining muscle and decreasing hair loss, which I hope not to have that happen so much. Um, I'm already thin up here, um, so um, I've not been doing so well getting my protein in so far. Um, and she really emphasized getting my protein in, especially approaching the three-month mark. So um, that's very important. Um, 64 ounces of fluid a day. Um, that can include the protein, but really um, the goal is to separate that out. So, um, And then the goal is eight to 900 calories a day. So I haven't been keeping track of my calorie intake, so I have no idea where I'm at. I know it's not 800 calories a day, it's quite a bit less than that I'm sure um, because I haven't been able to get much food in at all, even um, liquids or, or um, soft foods, I just haven't been able to eat that much at all. So um, I need to try to do better with that. So that's my goal. Um, I returned to my aqua classes. Um, going to the Y um, Tuesday nights is aqua cardio and Thursdays is aqua zumba and I enjoy them both so I'm doing that um, I told you I got a job and I start it on Monday coming up I'm nervous um, I'll be learning a new business mortgage servicing um, I'm starting out as a reviewer and I'll be training, I think, at least half a day. Um, but I'll be working, my first day I'm starting at 9.30 um, and working till 5. Um, and then after that, I, I think I'm doing 9 to 5, which is great. Um, I hope to be able to return to my cardio drumming class, which is on Wednesdays at 5 o'clock, which means I need to find out if I can adjust my schedule on Wednesday so that I could leave there by 4.30 and get to the class by 5. Um, and it's on the same road, so it it wouldn't take too long to get there. So hopefully I can do that. Um, the nutritionist did give a handout today um, going through various things. I need to start... Um, I have been taking a daily multiple vitamin chew that I got from there, but I need to start back up on my folic acid, my vitamin D, and my iron, because I was low on those things prior to surgery. Um, talked about dairy, things like Fairlife milk, which is what I have, 
um, Greek yogurts, cheeses, um, stick with regular full fat cheese, um, poultry, chicken and turkey, eggs, stick with regular eggs, I don't have to do egg whites or egg substitutes, um, fish, tuna, cod, tilapia, lobster, salmon, things like that, um, red meats, um, she went through, you know, the serving sizes. I'm going to have to stick with one ounce and start with that because um, that's probably about all I could eat to start with. Um, but then, you know, over time, increase and go from there. Legumes, soybeans, lentils, garbanzo beans, things like that. Tofu won't catch me eating to tofu, even though I know it's it doesn't have any flavor. It just picks up from whatever you're cooking it with. But no, I don't like it. Protein bars you can start on, um, but make sure they actually have a decent amount of protein. So, for example, if it has 200 calories, it should have 20 grams of protein. Um, protein powders. Um, I picked up some unflavored protein that I can put in pretty much anything. So like I can put protein powder in chili or things like that. Um, vegetables, fruit. Um, so yeah. I'm happy to be able to start on food again. And then the doctor gave me a handout. <laughs> talking about constipation and diarrhea. I haven't really had a problem with either of those. I never had to do any Miralax or Benefiber or Milk of Magnesia or anything like that after surgery, so I'm very grateful for that. Um, right now, I'm drinking my water and I'm snagging on some protein chips, pizza crunch, and they're not bad. So, um, all in all, everything has been going well. I'm keeping track of my weight on a app on my phone called My Weight. <laughs> um, it looks. Oh, you can't see it, can you? Yeah. So I put in my weight today. And uh, my BMI started out at 62.9, and it's currently at 54.6. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm still obviously obese class 3, um, so I got a long ways to go. But um, I'm pretty happy with my progress so far. Um, and uh, I'm, just, I'm just doing well. Um, I had my med management appointment the other day with the psychiatrist and he is very happy with my progress as far as all the things that I've been doing um, last weekend I took my first little mini vacation by myself I took a trip around Lake Michigan um, I drove across the Mighty Mac the Mackinac Bridge all by myself stayed overnight in a hotel by myself in Escanaba and then continued down through Wisconsin and then through Chicago and yeah I left on Friday came back on Saturday and I was just really proud of myself that I did that and uh, I had never done that I've never stayed in a hotel by myself before and I was just so proud of myself I stopped at a few little um, scenic um, turnouts along the lake and took some pictures and it was just it was very nice I was so proud of myself um, I'm doing a lot of things for myself aside from school and aside from exercise class um, the Bible study group and uh, things like that and um, I'm just doing very well for myself and I'm proud of myself and my psychiatrist um, you know how um, most of you know that I had been hospitalized 
several times between 2013 and 2016 um, for depression, anxiety, um, supposedly schizoaffective disorder, but I don't know. But he made the comment that possibly my ex had something to do with that, maybe. Who knows? Um, and, and maybe he did. I know I was, I was, oh gosh, the dogs are starting at it. I was devastated when, um, he brought the divorce on. Um, I was heartbroken and everything. And you know that because I was crying on videos. Um, I thought my life was over. I thought I'd never be happy again. But here I am. I'm doing well. I'm happy again. Um, and things, things are looking up. And and that's good so and I'm starting to see um, that yeah um, maybe it was him part of it he did after all cheat on me at one time and um, that's not cool so I don't know I don't know what to say but things are definitely looking up and uh, yeah it's tight with bills and money right now I'm hoping that this job will help with that though um, I just keep praying and um, and and spending time with people and my daughters when I can and the dogs and yeah and and you on video and social media and so yeah um, yeah, things are definitely getting better. And my grandma and my uncles, I'm so glad to have reconnected with them. Um, my grandma has been so happy to see me come over. Um, and I'm going back in a couple weeks, I think. Um, my one uncle I haven't seen yet, he's in Pennsylvania right now, and He's not doing the greatest. I understand he's been drinking a lot, and I think he's depressed um, with life at times. But hopefully he comes into town um, sometime this summer so I can see him. I sent him a picture um, through text messaging, and he was excited to receive that. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that's all, guys. It's over 12 minutes, almost 13 minutes. Um, thanks for watching and supporting me and commenting and I appreciate it all and I will do another video soon. I'm going to weigh myself weekly probably on Mondays and I will keep you posted. Peace and love. Bye.